important topic. Already in previous lecture, I explained you what is spline function. In this lecture, I will explain you how we find cubic spline. What is cubic spline? What is spline function? What are the conditions required to check? Already I explained in previous lecture. So now, uh, how we calculate cubic spline? It is very easy and very important because it is the best approximation technique for interpolating a polynomial. Now, cubic spline based on only two formula. Two formula, I will explain. It's better you learn that one and then you do the portion. Easily you can do. I will tell step by step what we have to do. So suppose we have detailed given one data set of point x and y. So because uh, we are going to calculate cubic spline, so either three data set of point they will give or four maximum. So suppose uh, they given uh, three data set of point. So it will be given like x value 0, 1, 2. Sometimes it is given four data set of points, so three also they will give. But firstly we will do for two. So you have to calculate capital M first. Capital M. And the condition is always starting capital M value means see M0, M1 and M2. Corresponding to this what will come? M0. Corresponding to this M1. So we have to calculate M0, M1 and M2. How many data set points are there based on their M1, M2, M3, M4 will be there. So starting M value is M0 always 0 and last M value. Here last M value means M2. It is 0. This is inbuilt condition for cubic spline. So always suppose we have three, uh, four data set points. So for three means M3 will be there. So M0 and M3 always zero. Means end points always stay zero. Understand? Now I will write the formula. But before that I will explain. See how many sub intervals are there? Zero, one, one interval, one, two. So we have two intervals in 0 comma 1 and second interval in 1 comma 2 it, because cubic spline we have to calculate for each sub interval how many sub intervals are there for that you have to calculate so it means i value vary from 1 to n minus 1 here because uh, n minus 1 how many data set points are there 3 so what is n value? 3. So i value here is just 1 and 2. i value 1 means this one, in this interval. i value 2 means in this interval. Understand? So first interval means this one means i value 1. For this interval when we calculate the spline function, i value 2. Suppose we have one more interval 2 to 3, then i value 3. So this is i value. Now you know M0 and M2 will be 0. So what we have to calculate? M1. When 4 data set points given, then M0 and M3 0, it means we have to calculate M1 and M2. Correct? Now, come for formula. What is the formula for M and cubic spline? So this is the formula for M. And this is a formula for cubic spline. How we find cubic spline in given interval. And this is formula for, to calculate m value. What is the formula? m i minus 1 plus 4 m i plus m i plus 1 is equal to 6 by h square f i plus 1 minus 2 f i plus f i minus 1. And what is formula for cubic spline? 1 by 6 x i minus x q multiplied with m i minus 1 x minus x i minus 1 q m i plus 
bracket close, x i minus x bracket f i minus one minus one by six m i minus one plus x minus x i minus one bracket f i minus one by six m i. These two formula play very important role because one formula to calculate values of m and one formula to calculate values for cubic spine. Now I will solve one question. Suppose that this question uh, we have. I will take value minus one, three, and twenty-one. Now uh, my uh, procedure to calculate cubic spline. So what is first condition? Because uh, we have three data set of points. So m zero, m one, m two is there. Where m zero and m two will be zero because end bound boundary points must be zero. So when m zero and m two zero, it means we have to calculate m one value. And what is i value? One and two. This is your f0. This is your f1. This is your f2. This is your x0, x1, and x2. Now, first we calculate m value. So, how we calculate m value? For m, what is the formula? Mi minus one plus four mi plus mi plus one. Is equal to six by h square f i plus one minus two f i plus f i minus one. So for i is equal to one, what we get? M zero plus four m one plus m two. Six. What is h value? H is common difference. What is common difference? One. So uh, cubic spine it, uh, we calculate for equal interval. So, h value one. I value one means f two minus two f one plus f zero. Just put the value. So what is our value? So m zero means zero plus four m one. M to zero is equal to six multiplied with F to F to how much? Twenty nine minus two F one. What is three plus F zero means minus one. So six twenty nine minus seven minus six uh, four M one is equal to twenty nine minus twenty two. What is m1? So m1 we calculated. Just divide. Now we have m1, m0, m1, m2 all value. Once you know m1, just use this formula to calculate cubic spine. So on which interval? On first sub interval. What is that? 0 comma 1. First sub interval 0 comma 1. What is i value? What is i value? 1. So uh, put value. So what we got? F1 x is equal to one by x. X1 minus x cube. M1 uh, m0 plus x minus x0 cube. I will do one now. Cube m1 plus x1 minus x. F zero, M zero, plus x minus x one, F one minus one by six M one. Just put values here. So what you got here? One by six. What is the table? Table is zero, one, two, and minus one, three, twenty-nine. This is x and y value of x one. So x one minus x. What is x one? X one is one minus x power q multiplied with m zero. M zero is zero. Plus x minus x naught. 
what is that zero q multiplied with the m1 m1 is how much 33 plus x one x one how much one minus x multiplied with f zero f zero is minus one minus one by six m zero that is zero plus x minus x not x not is zero f one f one is three minus one by six into thirty three correct so what is the answer one by six this is completely zero x cube multiplied with thirty three minus one plus x this is x This is how much? Uh, minus five by two. Minus okay. five by two x. So when you simplify, minus. x by 2 minus 1. So this is your f1x. Just check your full calculation. Now uh, we are going to calculate cubic spline for interval 1 comma 2, second sub interval. What is i value now? 2. So, because i 1 we calculated. So I will write directly. What is the uh, f two x one by six x two minus x whole cube m one plus x minus x one cube m two plus x two minus x f one Minus one by six m one <coughs> plus x minus x one f two minus one by six m two. This is the formula for this. Now put the values. Just what is x two? X zero x one x two x two is two. So two minus x cube. What is m one? Thirty three. Plus x minus x one. What is x one? X one is one. Q. What is m two? M two is zero. <coughs> Plus what is x two? Two minus x. What is f one? Three minus one by six. What is m one? Thirty three. Plus X minus x one. X one is three. F two. F two is twenty nine. And two is zero. So just simplify one by six. Two minus x cube thirty three. This is zero. Minus i x. Just simplify. Just simplify. This is your f two x. So in this way, we calculated a cubic spline for both the sub interval. Suppose we have three data set of uh, three sub intervals are there. Get the mu for i is equal to three and do it. When uh, how we calculate m1 m2? If when you put m i value one, one equation will come. When we put i value two, second equation will become. So solve simultaneously both equation by any method. You will get m1 and m2. So hope you all understand this one and do some portion. It's very easy. If you know these two formula, you can do easily. So uh, thank you, and I hope you understand. Again, if you have any doubt, you can put in the comment box. Thank you.